cannot get over how cool that open is. I wish I had something like that. Anyway, let's go in depth on a couple of stories tonight in the headlines, maybe headlines tomorrow. That means time for the fastest four minutes in TV news. There's Fox, the Fox Four with Ben Ferguson. Well, hey, right. Ben, let's get into this. I'm going to start with a serious topic, and then I think we're slowly going to go wheels off. If you, if you don't mind, it'll be <laughs> that crazy. never happens here, right? <laughs> All right. Okay, so Republican debates. That thing last week on CNBC was a mess. Yeah. Uh, Republicans and the Republican National Committee met yesterday to try to get a plan to get some control. We know it was a mess. I almost think it was a mess because of Trump, not to blame him, but I think the cable networks suddenly think, hey, we can get record ratings. Trump's going to be here. Let's do something different. Let's ramp it up. You know, I like to blame Trump for certain things. I don't know if you can blame him for this one, I to be honest to with you. I blame, but you know what I mean? I mean Indirectly, they're going but for they ratings. Went, they went after ratings, no doubt about it. But this was also, hey, we're going to have a bunch of people on stage, and let's rip on all of them and ask you a bunch of awkward questions that will be good for ratings when in fact it was not yeah. uh, about the issues of the day. The, the, the shocking part about it was the fact that CNBC is a, it's a business news channel. They do that very well and they didn't do hardly any business, much less news, much less the economy. It was really, they went in I think with an agenda. That's why you see all the candidates going, what are we doing here? We don't have to agree to be treated this way. Uh, you look at Texas and Ted Cruz, it may be the moment that changed the course of his campaign in an upward swing. I, I wouldn't be surprised now if he is a solid top three or four candidate because of that moment when he called him out and said, we're not in a cage right. match here. Well, I do think he has a legitimate gripe. He was unveiling a flat tax plan. Nobody had ever heard it before. Yeah. And the business reporters and they didn't even ask him. Less. They could have cared less. Yeah, they cared about, they, but they did care about, hey, do you play fantasy football and what do you think about it, you know? I thought it was interesting today that Trump's team, after the RNC is talking about renegotiating, Team Trump says, we're going to go directly to the networks. We're going to negotiate our own deal. Yeah. I, mean, I don't even know how that works. Uh, I, I Look, I don't think it's going to happen per se, but I think it's a very smart move by Donald Trump to get back in the headlines. He's been losing losing a little ground. And I think that's one of the things he understands is the media cycles. This is a great way to remind people that, hey, I'm still Donald Trump. I'm a great negotiator. I don't have to play by these other people's rules because this is what I'm good at. So vote for me for president. Now, whether it's going to work or not, I don't think it's going to work. All right. Let's talk about Brandon Todd's story tonight. Godly code. Yeah. Some officer comes out. A complaint about a lawn needing mode, and it goes quickly south. <laughs> yeah. The heart condition yeah. gets tased. Where'd this go wrong? Well, first, if you've got a heart condition, you just got out of the hospital. Uh, don't mouth off to a cop when he asks for your ID and then stand up like you're ready to go three rounds with him like it's a heavyweight fight. That was stupid point one. Second thing is, is seriously, are we really in that situation where we need to tase somebody over dealing with grass? Uh, I mean, if I, I if I was the officer and a dude jumps up at me like that, that's probably when I would have tased him. But then when he says, well, here's my ID. Look, it's not too late to renegotiate. You're not at that point. You were not in the police officer's face. You got your back to him and you're like, here's my ID. Take the ID and tone it down a notch. I, I know I'm going to get heat for this, but it seemed like you had two kind of, you know, boneheaded individuals meeting for the first time. I think last week he called something like this. That they'd probably enjoy having a beer together. Yeah, exactly. Two idiots stuff. having a beer, right? <laughs> All right. Uh, let's let's move on to the last topic. Um, we're talking about Des Bryant. Uh, <laughs> if you would have told me, by the way, now. yesterday yes. that you and I would be sitting here tonight talking about Des monkey. Bryant and a monkey and PETA, I would have said you're absolutely insane, and yet we're doing it right well, now. Well, PETA wants, you know, DeSoto police to go kick Des's door and find this monkey. Yeah. And, uh, I don't know. I'm PETA, sure. you need to go to a game and have an adult beverage and chill out. Maybe sit by Des Bryant's family, hang out with a monkey, watch the next away game, and see if y'all can all get along. Well, I, I thought it was funny. Uh, Bryant's attorney actually says the, the monkey is no longer in DeSoto City limits. I mean, it, yeah. the talk is so serious, but it's... It's it, just odd. Can't we just get back to cats and dogs? Yeah. I, I, was there's, thinking there's, I mean, Des Bryant, there's, there's some dogs out there that could definitely use a good home, and you you've go. got plenty of money, and you could, they could have a really nice fluffy bed next to yours, and everybody would be just happy. Just go get a shelter dog. Be a good father. You, I don't know if you really need a monkey. I want PETA to go seize Tom Brady from, you know, <laughs> Patriots headquarters and bring him here. We, we could use him. Yeah, we could use him to help us not lose again. Yeah. I've never missed Tony Romo so much in my entire life. I miss you, Tony. Come back soon. Nicely done. I don't, just come back soon, please. Nicely done, Ben. You can join Ben's half million followers on Twitter at Ben Ferguson Show. Good night, Ben. Thanks, buddy.